Hello and welcome to another tutorial with me, Punkimo Andy. Today we are continuing the A to Z of enchantments. Uh, don't forget if you haven't already done so, check out um, my previous videos on the enchantments. We start off with the basics of enchantments, then we start going to the through the A to Z enchantments. We are currently up to flame one. Uh, and today's episode we move on to fortune. So the fortune enchantment is a tools enchantment um, and it's for uh, different types of tools, um, increases the drop rate from mined blocks. So fortune comes in three different levels, level one to uh, level three. Obviously the higher the level, the more you will drop from a block. It can be applied to pickaxes, shovels, axes, and hoes. The tool, um, so for starters, the, and we'll go through what uh, the examples of each are. So for the shovel, um, what that will do is that will yield more flint from gravel. For the axe, it will harvest more drops from leaves, so sort of like the saplings, uh, sticks, and for the oak tree, oak and dark oak you'll get more of the uh, apples uh, for hose it will drop more crops or more seeds so for wheat it will drop more wheat seeds for carrots and potatoes it will drop more carrots and potatoes and for uh, beetroot it will drop more beetroot seeds it's going to make you note now that it does not work on the never warp or warped the never warped block or the crimson blocks yeah never warp or never warped blocks crimson blocks whatever they're called for the trees it doesn't actually yield any more from them either the uh, pickaxe is the one that it is most commonly found on uh, and players will most commonly put it on uh, this is due to the amount of drops you actually get from ores using this so um i've so Drops from the iron ore are not affected because they do not drop as um, drops from gold ore and iron ore are not affected. It's the ones that drop the actual things themselves do not require any smelting. So first of all, you've got with fourteen three, um, your rates will increase from one coal mining coal ore up to dropping four coal. For diamonds, it is the same. So diamond ore, your rates will increase from one block up to a maximum of four per block. Same with emeralds, from one block up to a maximum of four per block. Um, the emeralds, I'll say one block to a maximum of four per block. The never gold or nuggets, that are obviously from the never, you'd normally get around two per block for that. On the drops, if you've got Fortune 3, that'll increase to 24 gold nuggets per block. The Never Quartz Ore goes same again from, well, same again, goes from one or uh, from one drop to 24 Never Quartz you'll get. Lapis Lazuli, this is the biggest of the increases, goes from four drops up to a maximum of 36. And a Redstone Ore from four up to a maximum of 20 blocks, uh, 20 per drop. So next we are looking at Frostwalker. Now this is a boot enchantment only. Uh, this enchantment uh, will turn any water source nearby uh, into ice. Um, obviously the level will determine how far away the ice would how far away the water will turn into ice. However, the ice you form through Frostwalker is different to naturally generated ice in the world. Uh, as the ice is temporary and will start to crack uh, when it is melting. Uh, to keep it as ice, you would just need to be constantly moving the player. Uh, however, whilst walking, whilst wearing frost walker, damage cannot be taken from magma blocks or campfires. And frost water cannot be used at the same time as depth strider. It is possible to fall underwater with frost walker. Um, if you fall from a height, you'll often go below the water and then the water above you at surface level will turn to ice, trapping you underneath. 
So just be careful of that if you are using Frost Walker. Next, um, obviously Frost Walker comes in two different levels, one to two. Next, we have the Impaling. So Impaling comes in levels one to five. It is a Trident only enchantment. And what it does is enchantment deals extra damage to mobs that naturally spawn in water. Uh, in addition, the Bedrock Edition also deals extra damage to other mobs in the water as well as in when it is raining. So Java Edition is only for mobs that spawn naturally in water. Bedrock are mobs that are in the water as well as in raining. Uh, as well as when it's raining. So there's a bit of a difference there. Uh, so the painting on Bedrock is much better than it is in Java. Actually, why? I've not actually... There's Trident Killers in Bedrock as well. I haven't noticed anyone saying about impaling using Trident Killers. Hmm. I wonder if that could be done. <laughs> I wonder if anyone will actually do that. So next we have Infinity. So the Infinity enchantment is actually quite um quite a good enchantment on bows. Um it's not one I generally use because I choose mending over infinity because I've uh farm that produces too many arrows and I'm overloaded with them already so why would I need infinity to me infinity is an early game enchantment but players will use it later on so they don't have to carry tons of bows so what this will do infinity is it will not use any of your arrows standard arrows up when being used um this cannot be used with mending and also is not affected with any tipped arrows so if you've got tipped arrows uh, in your inventory and you're using them to fire you will start losing them as though you haven't got infinity so infinity doesn't actually use up any hours you just need to make sure you have a minimum of one arrow on you next we have knockback so knockback comes in two different levels uh this enchantment will actually knock back any mobs when hit uh with it obviously the higher the level the higher they will get thrown back just be careful with this enchantment. Uh, a lot of players do not like it. Me personally, I actually do quite like it. Uh, it's quite handy with some mobs and being able to control them and being able to help the timing of hitting some mobs. Uh, with knockback, uh, the thing I would be wary of is being in the nether. If you're on a wither skull hunt, if you hit a wither skeleton uh, over the edge of the fortress because it's only one block, they will spring over that. One, they can spring over that one block. Uh, unlikely but they will they can do uh, if they open that one block and hit it with that you will more than likely lose the wither reducing your effectiveness of getting wither skulls next we have a looting so looting is a favoured enchantment uh, if you've got the opportunity to get it on a it is a sword only enchantment and I would recommend if you've got the ability to get it on a sword to literally just apply it to a sword We've got looting one, looting two, even looting three, because it comes in three different levels. Uh, early game, as soon as you've got a looting option, get it on there. You will get more drops. It, inc it increases the chance of some of the uh, treasure drops. So from, say, a wither skeleton, you'll get an increased amount of wither skulls. Uh, from blazes, you'll get extra blaze rods. From zombies, you're more likely to get carrots, potatoes... Um, and uh, ingots, those sort of things you'll get more regularly using looting, which is why I say if you've got an option early on in game, definitely put it on there. Later on in game, try and combine it to level looting three. Next, this is the one I didn't finish up from yesterday because when I was doing my notes, I then realized I forgot. Um, loyalty, so this one is loyalty. Um, loyalty comes in, I'm just doing this whilst I'm on here because I will do a dual download to try and help people through. So loyalty comes in at three different levels. What it does is, uh, it is a trident only enchantment. Um, seconds, I don't really use loyalty much. So yeah, so Lordy's um, Trident Enchantment and can not be used with Riptide. So 
what loyalty does is it reduces the amount of time uh, it takes for a trident to come back when thrown. However, I believe there is a maximum um, time that the uh, a maximum distance that you can throw the trident before it becomes ineffective. I've seen people throw it into the void and the uh, when they've been in the end and they've actually lost the enchantment. Um, it may just be that the it's as soon as it hits a block, actually, it will be coming back. It just reduces the amount of time waiting for you to retrieve that um, trident. I believe it's like 0.25 seconds per level, as far as I'm aware. Um, I haven't got it in my notes, but I seem to remember reading that when I was writing up my notes uh, for this. So, however, that is it for today's uh, uh, tutorial. Don't forget to come back tomorrow when we will be carrying on, starting off with Look of the Sea from the looks of things in the background there. Um, and don't forget, if you've missed them already, to watch uh, the first part of the tutorials to help you through uh, and help guide you in any direction possible. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe where possible. And enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching and bye.